No, I don't waste no time How are you doing guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel my name is Joshua Dangle George a social media marketer and online coach I have my own social media marketing agency here in the Netherlands where we help businesses grow and get more customers and more sales in through Facebook advertising and they also have my own education business where I basically teach you guys on how to do the same so how to start your own agency how to reach out to potential clients how to get them on board and more importantly how to get results for them so that you can basically automate and scale your own agency so that you can live life on your own terms and in today's video I want to discuss the two biggest differentiators between successful agencies from the non-successful agencies, okay? Now, before we start like defining success and so on and so forth, I just wanna quickly mention that it's completely up to you how far you go with your agency, right? Like some of you that watch my channel, some of you that are in the whole social media marketing sphere, um, you guys wanna go to seven figures. You guys wanna, you know, have like an actual real, really you know big tangible agency i don't even know how to like put it into ways that like, you guys want to hit the seven figure mark okay and the easiest way to do that is just to reverse engineer okay if i want to make a million a year how much do i need to make a month okay now that i know how much i need to make a month how can i do that how many clients do i need to get in what does my price point need to be and so on and so forth okay but for a large majority of you guys that are watching my channel include myself to be fair to so to a certain extent um, you know, a six figure slash multiple six figure agency is more than enough to live a happy and fulfilled life, right? Because at the end of the day, you don't actually need as much money as most of you guys think. You don't need to be a millionaire in order to be happy. You don't need to be a millionaire in order to live life on your own terms. You should actually work it out for yourself. Like, what is it actually that you want? How much is it going to cost? And how can you get there? And you will notice that more often than not it won't even be that you need a million to do all the things that you want to do but that is of course a story for another day so again just to wrap that little little you know the little rant up um if you want to start an agency you don't necessarily have to become a seven figure agency you know for some of you you don't even need to become a six figure agency you know it's completely up to you how far you want to go with it however the sort of benchmark nowadays for a successful agency again that is completely up to you if you want to define your agency as a success once you've hit that point or not um, but it is the six figure mark so in a hundred thousand uh, pound euros dollars depending on what time zone, uh, time zone what country you're in um per year which means that you're earning roughly eight thousand three hundred and thirty three a month which roughly you know equates to either four or five clients if you have retainers of 2,000 a month, or eight or nine clients if you have retainers of um, 1,000 a month, or 14 clients of 600, and so on and so forth, right? So that is sort of the benchmark. Now, what distinguishes those that will hit it from those that will not? And for me, it comes down to two things. And the reason why I'm gonna mention these two things is because these are two big things as well that have either prevented me from hitting six figures, or I've noticed that once we've dipped out of the six figure mark, because let's say you are making 8,000 or 9,000 a month, but you lose one or two clients, then you sort of lose that six figure status, right? Because if you only can sort of attain that uh, eight to 9,000 a month for a couple of months, and then you drop off again, then you won't get that 100,000 a year. So what basically differentiates those that will actually hit 100,000 six figures um, and like I said, I'm just using that source as the success benchmark now because that is sort of the standard, but you know, you can decide for yourself what a successful agency is, um, you know, in your eyes and in your opinion. But what, again, so what, what is the difference between those that do hit it from those that don't? The first most important thing is the outreach, okay? And it, it is gonna go boil down to how many meetings you can set. So yes, you know, you've got all these videos on how to do outreach, how to reach out to so many people. And to be fair, there's quite a lot on my channel as well. But the reason why I preach and why I basically tell you guys every single video to, that it's a numbers game and you need to be reaching out to as many people as possible because at the end of the day, a percentage of the, but basically a large percentage of the people that you reach out to won't actually be in the right frame of mind 
you know, the timer might not be right, they might not have the funds, they might not believe you, they might not trust you, they might not like the email that you send. There's so many different factors that will decide whether or not they hop on a call with you. But at the end of the day, the calls are what matter, right? So you need to be reaching out to much more people than you actually get on calls. But at the end of the day, you will need to have to book calls in order to get clients. You can't get a client without, you know, of course, again, you've got the, the closures and appointment setters, but at the end of the day, a call does take place in order for that client to come in. So you need to be booking calls. You need to be having calls. You need to look at your calendar and have multiple meetings a day and, you know, of course, multiple meetings a week in order for this to actually become a success. And yes, you only need eight clients for a thousand to hit six figures, but how many meetings do you need in order to get the eight clients? Some of you might only have a closing rate of one in 10. Well, then you need 10 meetings for one client. Some of you have got a closing rate of one in three. Again, you still need the three meetings to get the one client, okay? So uh, your calendar needs to be completely filled with booked calls, okay? So what I want you to do now, pause the video or don't, it's completely up to you. You can open it in a new tab. Um, go into your calendar. Is that filled with meetings? Is that filled with potential clients that you could work with? If not, then that is what you need to look at, okay? That is what is going to be a big differentiator between you becoming a successful, successful agency or not, okay? You need to have your pipeline full. And I will get to, you know, why you need to have a full pipeline in just a sec, but the second differentiator is the client retention, okay? So it's all fun and well getting all these clients in, but you also need to get results for these clients, okay? It's the first pillar, outreach, and the fourth pillar, actual, you know, actual results, so project development, you need to have those on point, okay? And what, what I mentioned in the last video, for those that haven't checked it out, make sure you do, is the leaky cup syndrome. So you've got this cup, yeah? This is actually, I can't, this is not a paper cup, otherwise I would have shown you guys, but just think of this cup and that is your pipeline, yeah? So you pour it into the cup, your pipeline is full or your cup is full, but if there's a hole at the bottom of the cup, so if that back door isn't shut, like for those of you that watched um, my other video from a few weeks back where I drew a house and I said, okay, you can get as many people as possible, or as many clients as possible in your agency house, but if that back door is open, clients will just leave, right? They'll leave through the back door. And again, same goes for the cup. If you pour water into the cup, but there's a hole in the cup, water will just leak out and it will be very hard to keep that cup full because as soon as you stop pouring in, as soon as you stop the outreach, everything will empty and you know, you'll know you end up with an empty cup, okay? Same goes for the house example. If you stop getting clients in through the front door and the, the, the back door is open, then you'll notice that at some point, you're going to have an empty house again, which means an empty agency, which means an empty without an agency without clients. Okay, so what I'm trying to get at here is that if you can't get results for these clients, then you can do as much outreach as you want, but you're always going to be in the trenches. It's always going to be that vicious cycle of getting a client, lose a client, you know, doing outreach again to get another client, losing that client. And yes, there might be months where you get three clients in, but if you've got two clients, you know, that are leaving you the same month, then, you know, you, you still only gain that one client really. So like the net result is one client, which means that if you do want to grow and skill your agency, you still need to be in the trenches. Okay, so moral of the story is focus on outreach as much as possible. You need to be getting as many calls booked as you possibly can. Of course, if the clients aren't right fit, don't book the call, but you understand what I mean, right? You need to have a full calendar, a full pipeline, a full cup or a full house. Then on the back end, you need to be making sure that you get results for these clients and you need to have that client retention. So you need to work out for yourself, how long is a client staying with me? And it might only be now that a client stays with you on average of three to four months, okay? It might even be some of you that are watching this that can only keep a client for one month then you need to focus on getting those clients better results. Yes, you can find an outsource to do it, but especially with everything that's going on with iOS 14, with just the implications within Facebook, with you know the, the whole AI of Facebook changing, you will need to either pay up good money to get a good media buyer, or you need to figure out a way to do this yourself because gone are the days where you can outsource it for cheap and cheerful. You'll notice yourself, you know, you might try and outsource it and think, you know what, I'm good for now. 
and then you'll notice that your media buyer's results, despite the fact that you're only paying him 20% of retainer, are dropping, okay? And you'll notice that your agency starts to rock. It's no longer you know, as stable and as solid as it once was. And like I said, it's because the whole landscape is changing, okay? You can't do that anymore. We can't just keep outsourcing it for cheap and cheerful. You need to focus on actually getting these clients results. And I've learned this the hard way, guys. I have had an agency, a six-figure agency for like two years. And out of those two years, I was, I never felt like I was stable because I knew every single month I needed to get in more clients in order to, to maintain that sort of six figure status, right? Now, when I look at the last month, so like the sort of the last month, the last year, so the sort of the third year of like the six figure status, everything has been much more stable. Yes, we don't, we no longer have months where we get in three, four clients. And uh, to be fair, last week we did actually get three clients, but that's, you know, a whole different story because we've got paid systems now in place. But Prior to that, prior to like the pay traffic thing, we didn't have months where we got in three clients on the bounce, but we didn't have months where we lost what, what, you know, one or two clients consistently either, okay? So it's much more quiet, it's much more stable. We might gain a client every single month, but no clients leave us so that, you know, even though we've only gained the one client, every single month we gain, you know, we basically grow by one client. And just think, if you can grow by one client for eight months, you've got a six-figure agency or you've, you're basically making enough to earn six figures a year um, if you maintain those clients, okay? So focus on, yes, the outreach, but also focus on getting the results, okay? Outreach and retention. So that is all I've got for today. I hope I've really you know, brought this home, guys. That, that is basically what you need to focus on. It's not as difficult as people make out. You know, everyone tries to make it out like they've got the secret sauce, but at the end of the day, it just comes down to hard work, getting results, building up relationships with these clients, and building an actual business rather than trying to outsource it for as cheap as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. For those of you that have not subscribed to this channel yet, consider doing so because I am bringing out a lot of content on YouTube on a weekly basis. And to be fair, if you look at my channel, I think I've got over 300 SMA related videos now already. So consider subscribing, like this video, I've got something out of it. If you have not done so already, check out my free Facebook group called the Lifestyle Design Community because there is a free beginner course in there, a, you know, a, a, as well as a few more um, scripts, templates, and resources that can help you get started with this SMA journey. And like I said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.